Hey guys, it's Senka Wolf here, and today I've got a how to video on showing you how to get a custom GUI which TSR VTC has made for Truckers MP. This uh, GUI uh, pro mod or program uh, basically changes the uh, background screen of the actual launcher itself when you're selecting the server you want to log into, and it also changes the little tab menu GUI and in game fonts as well. It is uh, a perfect program to get if you are part of the TSR VTC. So, first of all, to download it, you need to head over to our TeamSpeak server, which is found right here. And if you head over to the TSR VTC room or header page and then scroll down, you'll see there is a multiplayer section with the uh, Truckers MP GUI, which is a .rar file. So, if you click on that and download it, I've already got it, so I'm not going to bother. So, once you've done that, you want to uh, get the folder which you just downloaded, which is a .rar. Uh, put it anywhere on your computer where you would like. Obviously, make sure you put it somewhere where you're not going to accidentally delete it. And then you want to extract the files, which I've already done here, which creates this folder. So, if you go through these folders, you'll see uh, a .exe file right here called tsrptc underscore launcher. This launcher has got other features as well, such as a anti AFK as well. But I'll be speaking to you that in a, another video. So. You'll be welcome up with this uh, application right here, but there's one or two things you need to do before you can actually get started with using this custom GUI. So first of all, you need to press the little settings icon in the bottom left, and you'll get these menu settings. And from here, it will say launcher folder and GUI folder. Basically, for the truckers MP uh, for the launcher folder, you need to specify where your truckers MP is actually installed. For me, it's in the default location on my computer, so all I needed to do was go to C, Program Files and Truckers MP. You just simply navigate through on pressing these little dots, and obviously if I show you for example my computer, and I go to my C drive, and then in here I should see Truckers MP, no Program Files, I do apologise. And then in here there should be Truckers MP, click that folder and hit OK. The GUI folder is basically where this folder, right here, which you just downloaded and went opened up into, is where it's located on your computer. So for me, it's, as you can see, it's C drive, users, run M, desktop, TSR, TS, uh, truck MP, GUI skin, program, EXE version, mine's in a slightly odd place, and also it gets to the very end. You have to make sure that you reference this folder here with all of this stuff inside of it. If you pick any of the before folders, it obviously you will be displayed with an error message. From there, simply hit save, which will make a nice little ding noise that indicate that it has been saved correctly, and you can close that menu down. From here, you can click launch MP, and as long as you've picked all of the shortcuts correctly, you'll then be welcomed with the Truckers MP uh, client. From here, reopen up the launcher and click replace GUI which will then be indicated by another sound and this means the GUI has now been replaced with our custom TSR VTC one. So now if I now launch, truck, launch ETS2 this also works with ATS as well so don't worry on that one. So if I quickly launch my game right here and uh, wait for it to boot up, this may take a few seconds. Okay guys we're now in game and you can now see the splash screen for Truckers MP. As you can see, uh, I haven't changed everything on here. In the bottom left, you'll see the TSR VTC logo. The buttons at the top left are slightly modified. The uh, cursor is also a different color. The buttons down here are also different, and the font is also completely different as well. Obviously, um, the background is also different. It's got three different images for the background. Um, obviously, the one in the background is the current one that you shall see. Obviously, I could have changed the Truckers MP logo across the top as well. Um, but obviously at the end of the day it is their mod and I'm not going to uh, replace uh, and hide their good work. Obviously they do deserve all the recognition they deserve. So, if I, for example, if I jump onto a server, let's go onto Europe 1 for ease and click login. I shall now set my profile and carry on launching up the game as I normally would. Okay, so now that I'm now connecting to the multiplayer server, 
look at the bottom left, it says connecting to Europe one server, connection established, and obviously all the font has now changed um, to our custom TSR, well it's basically our VTC's logo font. Uh, if I now hit the tab button, sorry if the screen is moving, I am using a track IR system as well. As you can see here, the left bit is all changed, it's got the orange bit, the, even the history bit is all orange as well, the font's all different. If I click on the history, that's all the same. Click on the old settings here, this is all different as well. Orange buttons. Uh, the background we decided to keep as the standard because there's nothing wrong with it at the uh, end of the day. Uh, that's pretty much it is. As you can see, even names above people's heads have also changed to the uh, correct uh, form. Oh, the correct font, sorry, I do apologise. Uh, the horn system, or the horn icon, which is next to people's names, have also been changed. Uh, unfortunately, you can't actually see mine, um, and I don't think I'm going to be lucky enough to get someone to honk back at me either, so unfortunately I can't show you that. But there you go, that's pretty much it. That's how to get the uh, custom GUI working. Uh, if I show you one quick thing though regarding this uh, mod, I'm just going to quickly exit the game. Okay guys, so now that I've exited the game, uh, there is one slight thing you will need to know about this actual uh, GUI replacement or GUI mod for Truckers MP is that uh, obviously there is one slight flaw that uh, if you uh, if I go to relaunch the Truckers MP again, if I click launch MP, uh, what will happen is, is when the launcher appears it will say there is an update. Uh, this is because obviously the GUI replaces images and font files within the actual uh, launcher of Truckers MP and obviously as soon as you launch the actual Truckers MP client it will uh, detect that there is files different from what uh, there should be. Uh, so it will basically every single time you use this GUI unfortunately you will have to install uh, an available update which is basically replacing the custom GUI mod uh, back to the standard GUI. Um, so once the update's done again, you can simply just open up the program, click replace GUI, and then you can then continue with using the GUI again. Unfortunately, this is one side problem with the uh, with Truckers MP's client, as obviously it does force you to uh, put the standard GUI back on, and then you have to replace it every single time with the launch of the game. Um, obviously, it's not much of a problem if you are not constantly logging in and out. Uh, we are currently uh, looking into a solution for this, but for the time being, uh, unfortunately, it has to be done this way. Uh, but if there is a new up-to-date version which uh, gets around this problem, obviously I will create a new video on how to do so. But anyway guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, any kind of comments or issues, any bugs with the program, please let me know. Please comment down below and uh, look forward to seeing another video from myself which will show you how to use our anti-FK system which is built into this launcher. Anyway guys, I've been Senka Wolf and see ya.